Hello, everyone. This is Hollywood Junket. My name is Craig Reese, and I am so excited because we are back for another season of So You Think and Dance. This is the 18th season. I can't believe it. I've been a fan since season one. Um, and it's been very exciting because they've been changing things up. And we're interviewing one of our first contestants and uh, dancers from the show. His name is Jalen Sanders. Jalen, thank you for joining us. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. We are so excited. I've got lots of questions. But first, how was it watching last night's episode? How are you feeling today? Give us everything. Definitely. So I would say watching back last night's episode, like also with all the episodes, it's been like almost jarring because like when you're there, you get like, like you remember all the feeling of like, oh, I remember how I feel in this moment. And like, oh, dang, I forgot how I feel in this moment. But like specifically yesterday, like it was very, it was very jarring watching that whole sequence go down because like almost on television, you understand like you you see yourself almost as a character also like mm. just like you know when you're watching reality shows you almost don't feel like those are real people so it's like wow like it doesn't feel like as powerful like here as it felt like actually being in the moment so that's something that's been really interesting but it was so cool to see back like the solo because i hadn't seen what it looked like like i freestyled the whole thing so i was interested to see what the solo looked like so it was crazy to see it last night well, I, I I have a question kind of about that. So, and then I, I have lots of questions. We're just going to go all over the place. But uh, <laughs> but you were the uh, only hip hop dancer to make it to the top six. Unfortunately, did not move on last night. Do you think there is a bit of a disadvantage this season with only getting to do one group number and then one solo in hopes of the judges seeing enough to keep you moving forward? Yeah, I would say as a hip hop dancer, it was it was definitely... I feel like a little difficult. I, I do like the new um, layout because mm -hmm. it is like more realistic to what we would be doing in the industry. But um, again, kind of with like chance, depending on like what style you get, like I never really got the chance to do hip hop in a group, like in a compet like in a challenge piece. Mm -hmm. I never got the chance to really do hip hop. Like again, in the last one, like last episode, the movie week, Christopher Scott is like amazing. So like he gave me moments in choreographed moments that were like hip hop, but like I never really got to do like a full hip hop piece except for the opening number, which we weren't judged on. Right. So yeah, that's where it was like, ah, like I I only felt I felt like I only really got to show myself in the solos, but I felt like I never really got to show myself within a hip hop piece that was being judged. So that was something that was definitely tough. But again, like everything happens for a reason. And I'm still very grateful to have made it even as far as I did. So, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we talked to Comfort before the show even started this season. And she kind of broke us down with the new like system and how you're going to get to do themes each week. And I just think that is so cool. That is literally a, a dancer's mm -hmm. life. You're, you're auditioning for different things every day and just such a cool experience. And you also mentioned the 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 opening performance. And I kind of forgot about it because I was so wrapped up in the movie part, but that was so good. And then, so do the judges never see that or do they at least get glimpses of it just to know like, this is also what you're doing, you know? No, yeah, so 100%. So like, we was, look, all the contestants was wondering the same thing. We're like, are they watching this opening number? Cause yeah. like, we jack up the opening number. But no, like there was times like in, it depended, it depended on the opening number. Like the, um, the movie week, I don't think they were there for that one. Okay. Uh, but the other weeks, uh, they watched, well, they were a part of the first one. And then um, the second week, the Broadway week, they were there watching in the crowd and everything. It was just them watching the opening number. So it was cool to have them there um, because it almost like made you like pull up. Like, well, if they're right there, it's like, okay, look, I know I'm not being judged, but I can't look like an okie doke. So I had yeah, to, yeah. yeah, you still had to like pull up. But it was cool to have them there. Do they, or are they allowed to, or do they give you feedback when they are there just watching rehearsals and all that, or do are they just there watching? Um. So, oh, like for for the challenges when they're watching rehearsals for yes. the challenges. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes they would come in and um watch and like that's when you can like that's when it was like kind of getting real type. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like okay, wait, they're in there. So like whenever they would come in and watch, I know they they definitely like would give us like some some critiques and be like hey okay. i really like this they wouldn't really um i don't i don't remember it really being super personalized i think it was more as like a group mm. like they'd be like oh like 
da, 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 like this is good. I would really, really make sure you guys project on this part, something like that. Um, or they would be like, oh, I really like this part. Da, 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 da. Like one thing they were good at in person was they did give also like good feedback, not just bad. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, they definitely would throw a couple of critiques at us. Yeah. Cool. I, that's, I mean, that's such talent and wealth there. I would hope that you'd get some of it. <laughs> All right. I, I need something. Look, I need yeah. something. Look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a shame that you didn't get to be in Luther Brown's group. Um, but yeah. going to contemporary, what kind of surprised you the most with your experience with contemporary on this show? So actually, like I was so salty at first about not getting the hip hop piece. First yeah. week. I was like super salty because I was like, yo, like I literally have only done the jazz in the uh, like I feel like I haven't had, had a time to like show myself yet. But after getting contemporary, I was talking with Philip and Mackenzie Chabib. And Philip, who was also on the show, told me that it was better that I didn't get hip hop first yeah. because like you don't want to like peak at like your best and then like do all these other styles and like not be as technically good at them and look like you're dipping rather when it's like you could do this. So like, true. Right. So, so true. Like, whenever he told me that I was like, oh, facts, like that changed my whole perspective on the entire experience because like the before that conversation i was just going into it like all right i'm ready to do hip-hop and like finally show people like what i can do da, 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 like with hip-hop and then like i never really got the chance to do that and i think if i would have had that mindset the whole time i wouldn't have been as like you know grateful about the experience because i would have felt like oh i never really even got a chance to do what i did but i felt like i found the times to show myself within all the other pieces but that luther brown number was crazy i said Dang, I wanted to, I looked around with stupid with like the little, the solos and everything. And that was, that was a cool one to watch back to like that, that music video was crazy. So yeah. 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 And then you get Chris Scott, you know, who did all those, you know, like hip hop dancing movies and it really wasn't a hip hop dancing. Right. Your, right. your challenge wasn't, but it's all yeah. good. I, I, yeah. I always, the reason I've loved this show is I love that dancers get put outside of their box and, you know, and they get to try different things and that's for what sure. you get to do for sure. For so sure. I just, I just think that's cool. So. Yeah. It um, was like the contemporary piece too, real quick was like, yeah, yeah. That, that was definitely a challenge. I do feel like Philip and uh, Mackenzie though made it like very like adaptable for me. So again, it was one of the pieces where it's like, if somebody messed up with that ladder, you're cooked because like that thing was heavy. Yeah, like, it was a real like aluminum like ladder. Like yeah, yeah. When people got hit, like when Braylon got hit in the back of the head, that was crazy. And then that same night, he had fell down the steps. <laughs> and so there was just like so much stuff that it was just like, like oh man, like that ladder was like crazy. But it was one of those pieces where it's like okay, if we all lock in and get it like in sync. It's going to be crazy. And it ended up coming together really well. Yeah. But it was like, I was really nervous because I was like, well, one, I got contemporary and like, I haven't done much of that. Two, it's contemporary with this big prop. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Really nervous because it was like, okay, just a contemporary. Cool. I can go home and like practice this. But then it's like, with that huge prop, you couldn't just practice that because we couldn't bring the ladder with us. So it was like, you just had to like practice the timing. But it's obviously so different when you're trying it with a ladder. But yeah nuts well we did talk about the new format of this season and a part of that new format is all the dancers living together um how was that experience and can you tell me maybe one of your funniest memories from that time yeah. let's see okay so that was crazy yeah um so anthony okay this is something that i was actually so mad was I okay me and anthony were roommates right but they showed us a little bit talking about like who's going to get the rooms and whatnot, right? Roman, he was like, that's like my brother. He was like one of the older contestants, right? Like he was like in his later 20s. So he was like, I want my own space. It'd be like, we get you. Take this space, brother. We get it. So he took his own room. And then there was the math, the master bedroom. And then there was like one other bedroom left, but that one was like a little smaller, right? So Braylon and Easton were roommates. And then it was me and Anthony, right? We were like, yo, so like, how are we figuring out who's getting this master bedroom? And so Braylon was like, oh, I guess that's just like tough luck for y'all. I said, uh, let's let's do like a rock, paper, scissors for it. So we did three rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I cooked Braylon in all three. That's why we got the, the master. <laughs> I love Braylon. Like Braylon's my brother too. It was like, look, it was either me or him. 
He had to get cooked real quick. And so cooked him back to back. And then that's how we got the master bedroom with the rainfall shower and everything. But everybody like we still let everybody use the shower. Like if they wanted to, they could use or like it didn't it didn't matter. So it was that was a really funny, like fun experience because it was like, oh, snap, like it was such a nerve wracking rock, paper, scissors just for this room. But it was it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. And I mean, that's also like dancer life. You know, you've got roommates, you know, you're um, living in New York, Atlanta, L.A. with three or four other dancers. You know, like I really just love right. this whole concept because it's true to form, you know. Indeed. Yeah. You know, it's expensive to get those apartments out there. Yes. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Well, Jalen, this has been awesome. I really love your energy. I love your candid responses to this. And I'm just going to wrap it up with one cool, just fun question. What is Dream Dance job for you? Ooh, Dream Dance job for me would definitely, ooh, see, I have a couple. But like for me, I think it would be, honestly, like, I feel like dance is not like as mainstream as it could be, right? Like, I feel like you have like, your popular dancers like the late twins like that dance behind beyonce you know and stuff like that but mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to like make a platform or get to a platform where like i can be like the first big dancer that's like they're asking like just a singular dancer to perform at the grammys like you know something like that like i would love to be like the first dancer to do something like that where it's like oh we just have a performance from Jalen sanders at the grammys whether then it's just like oh ariana grande and her dancers like you know what i mean like it's just the dancers like i would love for that to eventually like be a thing so that would be like my dream dream dance job where it's just like just me being highlighted as a dancer yeah at a huge platform i love so, that i mean the only time you ever really see a, a a dance only show is if you're following like a dance company you know and like like exactly like a job like job walkies maybe broad kinda. street yeah or yeah like, like yeah mm -hmm. exactly but, or like um who's the uh the ladies in uh new york that'd be like kicking the rockets like right. stuff like yeah. rocket yeah. Yeah. i was like i don't remember that. but yeah so but like a touring like a touring dancer right. you know like yeah exactly yeah. like uh, something like that that would be really cool like i mean Derek huff is kind of doing something like that now but I know he also sings a little bit in his stuff. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is cool. Well, Jalen, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and your answers. I can't wait to post this to our channel. And I think we're doing interviews for the rest of the season, too. So I'm just very excited. It's been an awesome, cool season. And I'm glad you got to be a part of it. Yes, thank you guys so much for having me. I really appreciate it. it you are very welcome. Our pleasure. Again, my name is Craig Reese with Hollywood Junket. Please like and subscribe. We've got tons of interviews of other great shows out there. So go and enjoy and have a great day. Thanks, Jalen. Thank you. Have a blessed one. You